New York's LaGuardia Airport is consistently ranked amongst the worst in the U.S. It is plagued by access issues, minimal seating, poor food options, and terrible upkeep. It is so infamous, in fact, that former Vice President Joe Biden went as far as to say this. If I took you in blindfold and you took to the LaGuardia Airport in New York, you must think I must be in some third world country. But in 2015, the airport broke ground on an ambitious $8 billion renovation plan, making it the most significant U.S. airport renovation in over 20 years. But I've got some bad news for my New York friends. While these renovations might make your stay at LaGuardia more pleasant, it might also make that stay longer. Let me explain. In addition to LaGuardia's aforementioned issues, a huge complaint that passengers have is that the airport is plagued by delays. In 2019, LaGuardia saw 34% of its flights miss their scheduled departure time, trailing just Newark Liberty and Chicago O'Hare as the worst U.S. airports for on-time performance. Now, LaGuardia's renovations are intended to address this issue. Construction of four new terminals is currently underway, and all of them will sit 600 feet further away from LaGuardia's primary runway. This will create space for an additional two miles worth of taxiways, theoretically allowing for quicker pushback times for outbound flights and less time waiting on the ramp for inbound flights. The problem with this approach is that it does nothing to address the massive bottleneck that exists at the runway. LaGuardia has two runways that intersect and sit perpendicular to each other. Because of their configuration, only one runway can be used at a time, both for takeoffs and landings. So while the additional taxiway space might mean you're spending less time at your gate waiting for pushback, you'll end up spending more time on the taxiway waiting to get airborne. To make matters worse, these renovations are going to nearly double the number of gates at LaGuardia from 40 to 79. This will increase the number of planes at LaGuardia at any given time, putting even more pressure on this bottleneck. So what can be done to resolve this issue? Well, the idea of adding a second runway that sits parallel to runway 31 has been proposed. So long as the center line of this new runway sits 700 feet away from the existing runway, it would allow LaGuardia to handle parallel takeoffs, where two planes depart at the same time. During peak hours, this could theoretically cut the amount of time spent on taxiways in half. But there's good reason why this idea has been nixed. Primarily, there's no more space. If an additional runway were to be constructed, the airport would first have to build a massive man-made island further out into Flushing's Bay upon which it could sit. The last airport to construct a man-made island to accommodate new runways was Hong Kong International at a cost of 33 billion inflation-adjusted dollars. Now, to be fair, Hong Kong had to build this man-made island to accommodate more than a single runway. It had to accommodate two runways and a new set of terminals. But still, construction of a new runway would add billions to the price tag for this already very expensive renovation. And even if the funds were there to build an additional runway, there's still concern as to whether New York's air traffic control could handle the parallel arrivals and departures that would result. New York's airspace is exceptionally crowded. It trails just that of London's as the most crowded airspace on Earth, with its controllers handling 142 million passengers a year. The addition of a new runway at LaGuardia would likely result in a complete rework of the already complex air traffic patterns that exist over New York. Additionally, air traffic controllers would have to be retrained on these new patterns, and the additional complexity could compromise safety. So at the end of the day, there's really not that much that can be done about LaGuardia's delays. On the bright side though, the renovations should make it much easier to get to and from the airport. 
And next time you visit, maybe you'll actually be able to find a seat and not have to sit on the floor. If you learned something new today, leave a like and subscribe to keep learning. And until I see you again, don't forget to look up.